Hi guys, this is Luke and in this video we are going to talk about backing up our data, backing up our Django database. And then if something goes wrong, for example the database gets deleted, we will show you how to restore the data. And finally at the end of the video we will also talk about how to make um, the backups happen automatically in the background in certain defined time periods. So this should be quite quick and easy. Hope you will enjoy it. Let's get started. All right guys, so let's have a look at what have I done so far. Um, I basically started a Django project called Backup Proj and I added records as a application to the installed apps list and if you he hear barking in the background this is my dog i apologize for for this um, so again i added records to the installed apps list and in the records application i created a very very simple model called record with one field name which is a char field with max length 200 and the string representation is self name so this is very very simple and of course this record has been registered in the admin. So um, this is the admin. I also created the super user so I can log into the admin. And yeah, here are the records. As you can see, there are none. So um, let's begin with Django DB backup. And this is the official documentation. The link is in the description. So let's begin by installing Django DB backup. So I'm going to quit the server from running, pip install Django DB backup. Let's wait a few seconds. Okay, it has been successfully installed. So now we need to add DB backup to the installs app list. So this is exactly what we are going to do. So let's go to the settings, DB backup, and um, we need to provide DB backup storage and DB backup storage options. So let's also copy this and put it below. And here the location will be a little bit different. I'm going to delete this and put in base tier slash backup. So I need to create a backup directory inside the SRC directory. So this is what I'm going to do right now. So um, backup. Okay, and here we will store uh, dump files. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the next steps. We just need to write down Python manage DB backup. So I'm going to copy this, but actually let's save this first and let's run the server, Python manage py run server. And let's go to our admin, let's create one record record one let's save it okay and now let's create the backup so i'm going to quit the server from running python manage py db backup okay and we have confirmation that this dump file has been created so um, if we go open up the backup directory here is the dump file and now what we can do is to add another record so of course we need to run the server python manage py run server so i'm going to add another record record two save it so now we have two records okay and what i'm going to do next is to delete this database okay i'm going to simply remove it okay move to trash and now I'm going to quit the server from running and Python manage py db restore. So I want to restore based of the last dump file our database. So I should actually see one result. So the result the database should be recreated. And in fact it is. So if we head over here, refresh, of course, again we need to run the server, Python manage py run server okay let's refresh 
and we have record one. So we restored our database. So this is working. So now let's see if we can uh, create the dumping in certain defined time intervals in order to, um, yeah, just have some backups, okay, which later we can restore. And in order to do that, we will use um, we will use um, Django Crontop again. So let's head over to the documentation. It's of course in the description. So I'm going to stop the server from running, pip install Django Crontop, and then to the installed lips list, uh, let's add Django Crontop. Uh, I think it's better to add it at the top. So we have Django Crontop and uh, I'm just going to copy this my schedule job, but, but this is of course a function that you can name however you want. I'm just going to copy it and inside the project folder, we are going to create this cron py file and we are going to put this my schedule job. And before we put in some logic over here, let's copy the cron jobs and let's head over to the settings maybe below the uh, settings for the backup, let's paste in the cron jobs and I'm going to put it every minute so we can actually see something very fast in the backup. And here we need to put in my app. So in our case, we have the cron py in our project folder. So here we just need to put in backup proj and then cron as the cron py and inside we have my schedule job. So if you would like to rename the my schedule job to something else, um, then you should provide the name of the function over here. But I'm going to leave this my schedule job or maybe I'm going to put in my backup. So it's obvious, my backup. Okay, I'm going to save this and in the cron py, we need to change my scheduled um, job to my backup. And here, what we need to do is to uh, call this db backup comment in certain defined time intervals. So in our case, every minute. So we actually have another dump file in our backup directory. So I'm going to import from Django core management. I'm going to import the call comment. And here I'm going to open up a try try accept block and here I'm going to call comment and we want to call the db backup and then accept I'm just going to put in oh, what's wrong try accept and here I'm just going to put in pass Okay, so this should work. Let's save this and yeah, let's try this out. So uh, settings py is saved, my backup. Here everything should be working. Mm, so let's try this out. I'm going to run the comments python manage py cron tab add and then cron tap cron tap show okay so we have this uh, working and i'm going to run python manage py run server and let's see if everything will be okay so let's wait a minute and i'll get back to you And welcome back. As you can see, we have another dump file. So this is working. We are creating uh, the dump files for restoring our database every one minute because it's defined over here as one minute. So later we can run the comment Python manage pydb restore in order to get the latest version of our database. Okay. So yeah. I think this is it for this video. It was quite short and hopefully easy. 
we will see each other probably this time in the second part of the uh, series where we will build the real-time application for cryptocurrencies so this is something that i want to release probably friday maybe saturday um, so it's coming soon uh, take care have a great day and bye bye